Hey friends, how are you all? Today we are going to compare two important productivity tools that is Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. Those are the two very important, widely used. Let's compare the two and see which one we should focus on. It will be helpful for you for interviews, to add in the resume and everything like that. Let's get started right away. Here we go. So we have Microsoft 365 versus Google Workspace comparison. These are the two productivity tools that is widely being used. So we want to compare and see which one is more efficient. Let's get started with Microsoft 365. Okay. So for Microsoft 365, the first one we have to talk about is Microsoft Whiteboard. What is Microsoft Whiteboard? In, uh, so Microsoft Whiteboard is to share and do collaboration using Canvas. So let's say you're in a meeting and there is 10 other people in a meeting. So there is totally like 11 people. So when you are running the meeting or even if you are just a participant, now you want to share the, your screen and whatever you are writing on your whiteboard, everybody in the meeting will be able to see it collaboration using canvas that is what microsoft whiteboard is used for let's say while in the meeting you want one of the meeting attendees to scribble something on the board they are able to do it you are able to do it every other participant is able to do it that's what microsoft whiteboard is all about that is why it is called a collaboration using canvas it is a very good tool especially with teams meeting it's very efficient the second one we have is intelligent writing assistant this is microsoft editor so microsoft uh, editor is pretty much similar to grammarly like if you have you would have seen ads for grammarly like you know where someone is trying to type and they don't know the spelling or they don't know the grammar grammarly is going to help right microsoft editor is a intelligent writing assistant like grammarly why is it called intelligent it is using ai in the background to assist us write better. That's why it's called Intelligent Writing Assistant. Microsoft Editor is also a very efficient productivity tool. Let's get to the next one. The next one we have here is Microsoft Project. So Microsoft Project is purely for project management. So the project manager can develop schedule, track progress, manage budget, do all the other project manage resources, um, manage allocation for resources, man manage uh, um, budget, like it's already mentioned here, manage budget. So, uh, and then the timeline, tracking, efficiency, everything can be managed through Microsoft Project. It's a very efficient tool. It's been widely used and it has been, uh, and it is one of the very popular tools from Microsoft. But uh, keep in mind, this is mostly for project management. So if you're just starting a career or anything like that, you don't, you won't be actually using this. But it's uh, it's good to know that this is widely used. The next one we have here is Microsoft Visio. What is Microsoft Visio? Uh, from a practical perspective, this is widely used by um, developers as well as business analysts let's say for drawing a flow chart a drawing a flow of the pro how the logic is flowing within the program that can be sketched through visio how the condition logic is going to flow from one step to the next one that is uh, so those those kind of things uh, developers use visio widely and also business analysts use it because before uh, it gets to the developer, the business analyst is going to do their flowchart, right? How the business logic is implemented. So business analysts as well as the developers use Visio widely in, in the development world. Let's get to the next one. The next one we have here is Microsoft To-Do app. So this is focus from work to play with the best to-do list apps, right? So Microsoft to-do uh, app, as the name indicates, it's ta it task tracking is a task tracking. So everything that you have in your to-do list, you can add it here and it is tightly integrated with all other Microsoft products. So uh, it becomes even more efficient because you can get alerts. Uh, let's get into the next one here. 
here we have the main thing that we want to discuss here is word excel powerpoint and outlook so this is um, being used from day way back like everybody who has been working on uh, different microsoft applications for like 20 years um, you know they all know they're very familiar companies are very familiar employees are very comfortable with word excel powerpoint and outlook everybody is very comfortable uh microsoft word excel powerpoint and outlook this was used before google came up with its productivity tools so from a work perspective or from a corporate perspective these are being widely used and all employees are very familiar with these ones and what is um clip uh, clip champ is for video editing video editing software Clipchamp is video editing software and OneNote is just like the name says, it is for collaboration, but it's for notes. Let's say you're in a meeting and you're taking some notes. You're the note taker. You're the one who is creating the minutes of meeting uh, or you're also taking or you're taking notes at the same time when the meeting is in progress. But at the same time, everybody in the meeting wants to see what you're writing. So OneNotes can be used for that. Uh, and it's it's also widely used. So now the next one we have here is we are coming to Google Workspace. In When we start talking about Google Workspace, the most important thing, most important tool that everybody is familiar with is Gmail, right? So as soon as we get to Google Workspace, the important thing that we need to notice here is that all these tools are cloud-based. As we know, Gmail, it's cloud-based because it's not locally stored. Everything is stored in the cloud, right? So for Google uh, productivity tools, it's tightly integrated with the cloud more than Microsoft. That is where the success of Google came. Even though Google came with the productivity apps a little later than Microsoft, uh, all the Google uh, productivity apps are tightly integrated with the cloud. That makes it, that makes it, easier for all the Google apps to communicate with each other and to collaborate with each other. That makes it even better. It that makes it that makes it even more efficient for Google apps to communicate with each other and to integrate with each other more than Microsoft apps, right? The second one we have here is Google Meet. So for all of that productivity apps I've given the uh, hyperlink just above it, okay? Now for Google Meet, it is everybody is familiar what this is, video calls and meetings for everyone, right? The one important uh, point that I want to mention here is in some of the Middle Eastern countries, they have uh, blocked uh, WhatsApp and IMO tools that we can use to easily communicate with each other. In that case, people from like, for example, countries like Saudi Arabia or any other country where WhatsApp is uh, kind of restricted or banned, uh, they could very conveniently use video calls with Google Meet. So Google Meet is very efficient in that way. Wherever the other tools, other uh, video tools are restricted, Google Meet is still working because everybody is using Gmail and these tools are all integrated. That's why they're able to use Google Meet. Let's get to the next one here. Next one we have is a Google Calendar, right? So for Google Calendar, it is efficient by itself. Also, the most important thing everybody would have noticed is like, let's say you get an interview call uh, and uh, you have an interview invite. It is on your calendar, right? So as soon as it comes to your Gmail, and if you just click on the button, it would integrate into your calendar and then it will pop up in your calendar, right? So the integration part where it is tightly integrated uh, with all the other Google apps, productivity Google apps, that is where the calendar becomes even more efficient. That's why more people are using um, Google Calendar. As soon as you start using uh, Gmail, you tend to use Google Calendar, right? The next one we have is uh, Google Drive. Easy and secure access to the your contents. So main thing is secure access because it's stored on the cloud. Now it is for... Um, store, share, and collaborate on files and folders from your mobile devices, tablets, or computers. So Google Drive, I think pretty much everybody is very familiar. I don't need to explain what that is, but uh, it is or it is one of the very efficient uh, Google uh, Workspace apps. The next one we have here is Google Docs. 
build your best ideas together in Google Docs. Create and collaborate online documents in real time and from any device. So what is Google Docs? It is a replacement for Microsoft Word because everybody was widely using Microsoft Word. When Google came up with Google Docs, it became very popular. The reason was because all the add-ons, like the add-ons that, that is like when you're using Microsoft Word, you can use a lot of add-ons from within, right? Similarly, for Google Docs, all the add-ons are better, com all the add-ons are better and more efficient compared to Microsoft Word. Uh, um, and if you see here nowadays, most of the schools, they are letting the kids, the kids are using Google Docs. Kids are using Google Docs because they own they they can use it from their classroom as well as they can use it when they get home. That is why for the new generation, Google Docs is very very familiar. Whereas for the previous generation, Microsoft Word was the one that they were very comfortable with. Uh, but the kind of Google Doc Docs is overperforming Microsoft Word in a way you can say, especially with the new generation. The next one we have here is Google Slide tell impactful stories with Google Slides. So basically, Google Slides is very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint, right? And it is it. the most important part is it integrates very well with Google Meets. So when we have the Google Meet meeting going on, then we can use Google Slides to efficiently share some ideas or some very efficient slides that, that you have, you can present in the meeting. Uh, and and the reason is because Google Slides integrates very efficiently with Google Meet. Okay, let's get to the next slide here. Now, it's time to compare which one is better than one. Is one better than the other? Let's go point by point, right? So the first one is uh, the for, uh, for Google Workspace, what do we have here? Cloud native collaboration. Google Workspace is known for its cloud native approach to collaboration, right? Google Docs, Google Docs Sheets and Slides allow real time editing and commenting, facilitating seamless collaboration among team members. Like I mentioned to you before, because it is cloud based, the collaboration is very efficient. Second one, Gmail and Google Meet integration, right? Uh, Google Workspace integrates tightly with Gmail and Google Meet making it easy to schedule meetings, share files, and collaborate directly with these platforms. So Gmail and Google Meets, because of the tight integration, they're able to share the files, make it easy to schedule the meetings, and collaborate directly with in these platforms, right? Third one here is Google Drive. Uh, Google Drive offers generous cloud storage, and files created in Google Workspace apps do not count against the storage quota. So everything that is stored in Google Workspace apps do not count against the Google storage quota, right? It also features advanced search capabilities and version history. I mean, Google Drive is very fair, like very, very familiar too. The next one we have is a simple pricing structure. Google Workspace offers straightforward pricing plans with options for business for all sizes. It's relatively easy to scale up or down as your organization needs changes. Pricing is very, pricing is comparatively efficient. Next one we have is what are the benefits of Microsoft 365, right? Familiarity and compatibility. Microsoft 365 provides a suite of tools that many users are already familiar with, such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Like I was telling you before, the compatibility with Microsoft file format is often crucial for business with existing workflows because business has been using Microsoft, like Windows uh, operating system and Microsoft application for a very long time, right? And they have been using all this Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, Outlook. So, it is often crucial for business with existing workflow because they already have their workflows designed. Say they would like to stick on with these Microsoft apps, right? The second one is robust features. So Microsoft's uh, desktop applications offers a wide range of features and functionalities, especially for complex tasks like data analysis in Excel or desktop publishing 
in publisher right see excel is very efficient as everybody knows there's a lot of data calculation data manipulation data analysis data um, trends that you can do um using excel right excel is that's why excel is very famous and that's why the robust features are making it more efficient now the, the third one is integration with windows ecosystem Microsoft Microsoft 365 seamlessly integrates with Windows operating system and other Microsoft services, providing a comprehensive experience for users with Microsoft ecosystem. Because most of the companies, most of the corporations, most of the enterprises, they already have Microsoft uh, Windows operating system, and it has an integration with Microsoft Windows ecosystem becomes very convenient is it's a convenient factor the employees uh, or students they don't need to learn new things that is a very big advantage now the fourth one is advanced security and compliance microsoft microsoft 365 offers advanced security features and compliance tools making it a preferred choice for organizations with strict security requirements or regulatory compliance needs right enterprises like banks or financial institutions, insurance institutions, healthcare institutions, the security and compliance requirements are very high. Because of that reason, it is a preferred choice for organizations with strict security. Now, the final thing here is ultimately the choice between Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 depends on factors such as your organization's workflow collaboration needs, existing infrastructure, and personal preferences. So ultimately, ultimately, the choice between Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 depends on factors such as your organization's workflow, collaboration needs, existing infrastructure, and personal preferences. So basically, this comes down to one is not better than the other. It depends on what is your organization's workflow, what are the collaboration needs, what is the existing infrastructure, and what are the personal preferences. So both are very efficient. It boils down to the organization's requirements. Let's get to the next slide here. So I just did a comparison between Google in Google Trends between Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace, right? What I found is, like you could do this as well. What I found is that off late, my people are people are searching more for google workspace compared to microsoft off late it is, there is more interest for google workspace compared to 365 the reason is because all the new gen new gen they are learning more about google workspace than about microsoft 365 as you can see from the google trends so as we are concluding i just want to mention that I hope this comparison was really useful at least i want you to take home a point that if you still don't have Google Workspace in your resume, you should add it. The reason is because as per the new Google Trends, Google Workspace is searched more than Microsoft 365. So it will be worth adding Google Workspace to your resumes. Okay, finally, last slide here. So I hope this was very helpful for you. Now for more simplified and easier to learn videos like this, Please subscribe to keep my motivation going so I have the motivation to keep creating new useful videos like this. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. I talk to you later. Bye.